All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakal Kadash, double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Brakathon to the whole for the elect. Um, this video is going to be entitled uh, War with the Saints. You know, I'm just basically going to go through this uh, Daniel 7. Not even just go through it. I'm just going to read these couple of scriptures and speak on it, you know, in light of the recent events that happened in Jersey City and other bullshit things that have happened, you know, when it comes to brothers and, you know, when it comes to not when it comes to the struggle between Jacob and Esau in general, man, because as the apostles say, that's that's what the movie is all about, man. That's that's when you get down to the nitty gritty is is good versus evil It's Jacob versus Esau, you know. And we all know Esau's quality, man. He's, he's a bitch-ass nigga. You know, so bitch-ass niggas gonna do bitch nigga shit. And here here we are, man. You got the false flag in Jersey City. You got, uh, you know, Esau coming against brothers in their personal lives, man. You know, all, 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 kind, of, all kind of war tactics, you know, this bitch-ass nigga is taking and trying to really preserve his kingdom. Because that's that's really all, all it's about, man. He's just trying to... You know, hold on to what he can while he has the time to. But as the scripture says, it says he that will let it will let until his time is up, basically, man. So the Lord is letting you do all these things until your, your uh, which, you know, the, 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 the sand clock or whatever to the sand drops down. That's what Esau is on, man. He's down to his final sand grains. And so he's doing bitch nigga shit in order to preserve that. You know, with that being said, let's go ahead and read. Daniel chapter 7 verse 20 it says and of the ten horns that were in his head and of the other which came up and before whom three fell even of that horn had eyes and a mouth that spoke very great things who look was more stout than his fellows man and the ones that are look looks that are more stout than his fellows are these Americans man you know because they think they they the top uh, tribe as you could say of Esau man they think that they they the ones that got it they think that they shit don't sneak, man, and they can do whatever they want. But that's only because Yahweh Bashim Yahshah allowed you to, not because you have the power to, not because you're the greatest nation on earth, because you're really not. You know, the greatest nation on earth is the Israelites, and that's being shown, um, you know, who, who's the top dog more and more each day. And these bitch ass niggas are jealous. These bitch ass niggas are jealous that their kingdom ain't going to be as popping as ours. And they're also upset of. You know, the things that we're speaking, you know, because we tell we tell the Edomite that his his uh, his woman is leaving him. You know, his his uh, his nations on opioids, his nation mostly me going to be destroyed and enslaved, man. And they, they don't like to hear that, man. You know, they <laughs> Esau, you know, imagine being the proudest nigga you are and somebody telling you ain't shit, man. You're going to be upset. And that's just, that's the current state of Esau right now. Um, but let's go to Daniel 7 verse 21. It says, I beheld and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. So, yeah, these these American Edomites, they 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 made war with us. They put us in slavery. You know, they they broke down our family structure. You know, they they poisoned our community. They basically took took the hope. They took the names of you. How about Shem Yashai? That's that's first and foremost. They took the names. They gave us. You know, the our, our book, which is the Bible, they gave us a, a, a misinterpretation of it into thinking that, you know, they are, you know, the ones that call Jesus. They are the ones that are going to be the savior. They are the ones who are going to end up end up on top, which is completely false, man. And even to this day, we are still at war with the Edomites, man. But the thing is, 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 oh, let's, let's continue. Daniel 7 verse 21, until... So, yeah, they're, they're going to prevail against us until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the most high. And the time that the saints and, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. So y'all, y'all, y'all are going to have the upper hand in the war. Y'all going to think that, you know, if, if this was a boxing match that y'all beating up, beating our ass in the 11th round and you about to get a judge, a judge's decision and win it. But no, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, the Israelites are making a 12th round comeback, man. The, the the Israelites caught our second win, you know, by 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 being given this truth, by being given the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, by having faith. You know, 
that's 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 us catching our second win is is reclaiming what is ours you know the kingdom you know the belt man we 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 got the eye of the tiger playing in our mind man we just getting more and more hype man so you know the more you bitch ass niggas try to do bitch ass nigga shit is the more we going to get motivated to uh to to come back man because you hey man where I think it's in here right yep Daniel 718 it says but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever man so not only are, are we going to make this 12th round comeback but we not going to take another loss for history ain't the water y'all about shim y'all shot for that man you know let's let's read the same thing as it says in revelation 13 verse 7 uh, 13 verse 5 it says and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies right the most high is a white man you know you don't you don't have to follow the law you know you know we're, we're not the children of Israel we're, we're uh, Negroes you know these are blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months and he opened his mouth and blasphemy against Yahweh to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell therein so he blasphemed the Lord. He blasphemed Yahweh Shai, man. You blasphemed the 12. You blasphemed King Jake, King David, man. You blasphemed the elect, man. And that's that's the ultimate offense. And it says, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints. So the, the Lord basically allowed him to, to, to get his licks, to, to get his 11 rounds. Let's continue with that analogy. The Lord allowed this man to get his 11 rounds, man, and to overcome us. So, hey, we, 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 we took punches, man. We, we took hook shots to the face. We took body shots, man. We took uppercuts to the jaw, man. So the Lord, the, or the Edomites were overcoming us. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So he was he was allowed to fuck everybody up in the division, man. It says, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life, the lamb slain from the foundation of the world, man. So, hey, so... The, the the ones who's not writ or who's not written to make it, you gon you gonna catch losses, man. That goes you two thirds of Jake too, because you just being an Israelite doesn't automatically give you a ticket to a chariot. It doesn't give us a ticket to the chariot. We don't know we on a we don't know if we gonna make it till we there, man. We don't know if we're gonna get beamed up till we actually getting beamed up, man. You know, that that's faith. That that's what keeps us, you know, keeps us motivating to beat your ass in the twelfth quarter or twelfth round. Lord willing we beat those men. But it says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into, into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. So there it is, man. That's 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 the motivation that 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 keeps us in this fight of ours, man. Even though uh, you know, the 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 war, you know, the war with the saints is 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 continued to being waged, and you know, bitch ass E is doing bitch nigga shit, man. That don't mean that he gonna win. That don't mean he's gonna prevail, because let me go ahead and get it. I think it's N O U G H T. Hopefully it pulls up. Yep, this is a good one. Isaiah 8 verse 9 says, Associate yourselves, O ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Give ear, all ye far countries. Gird yourself, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Gird yourself, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Speak the word, and it shall not stand. For Yahweh is with us. So, y'all, hey, take counsel together. Isaiah say, hey, go ahead and do y'all bitch nigga shit, man. You know, do do what you need to do because it, it, it shall come to naught. So go ahead and make it seem like terrorists, make it seem like the bad guys, make it seem like it's all our fault of, you know, that, that hey, whatever, whatever you're going to say, man, you know, whatever you're going to say, go ahead and do it. Take counsel together, it shall come to naught. Speak the word and it shall not stand for you. How is with us, man? So we, we not even tripping over you bitch niggas, man. Bitch niggas going to do bitch niggas shit, man. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, we gon' we gonna overcome, man. This is what I really wanted, Acts 5 and 38. It says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it shall come to naught. 
But if it be of Yahweh, ye cannot overthrow it. Lest happily ye be found to fight against the Most High, man. Yeah, so when when you when you fighting against us, the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we beat it, beat those men. You fighting against Yahweh Bashim Shai, and that's a battle you just can't win, Esau, man. So with that being said, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bashim Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Y'all bought me out shot, break a thumb to the hopeful elect. Shalom.